Good morning. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Aaron Forbes, and I'm obviously not about to give a lame speech about my journey to America. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with that, but I think I have more to offer than just a story of me going on an airplane for an hour and then driving to Montferry. The main topic I want to talk, to about, talk about today is just life in general and how everyone here should just take it one day at a time. I'm sure anyone who's hearing me say this speech has procrastinated before, and if you haven't, I don't know what type of life you're living. Procrastination takes up most of my time, which explains why I've done what most other high school students do, done everything the night before. I think that procrastination is a necessary evil in our lives, because without it, we as students would never put our best work in at 11.59 at night. But seriously, this key part of our high school careers allows us to focus on other things like making TikToks or talking to friends in study hall, rather than writing a speech or completing the countless surveys we have to do. I really think that procrastination allows me to live life to the fullest and really appreciate my youth and forced to be an adult. Another thing that's accustomed to with living life is all the trials and tribulations we have to live through through failure. Failure is always with us. Failure will always be there no matter what and who you are, but it's how you pick yourself up and get back on your feet rather than how you got knocked down. Trust me when I say I know what failure is and how it feels to fail. Special courtesy of Mr. Clapper's AP Cup class. You can always learn from every failure you have, whether it be to work harder or just stop procrastinating. There's always something you can get out of every day. Even though I've had my share failure, share failure, um, fair share of failures, I'll always try to remember that today is always today and tomorrow is always ahead. Another lesson that life's taught me is how to compromise. Throughout my life, I've learned how to compromise so much and overlook the bad to focus on the good. Whether it be me switching from English for honors to regular for um, regular English for to not do the summer homework, or adjusting to a PO lifestyle, I've always kept my head up high and kept true to my values. Me being me, I always try to rep where I'm from also, and how proud I am to be an Islander. No matter what stereotypes, whether it be that I'm lazy or that we ride dolphins or live in huts, I'm still proud to be a Bahamian. And for the record, it's pronounced Bahamian, not Bohemian. I think that being from an island is another reason why I focus on relaxation and not stress. And if you ever heard the term island time, I'm literally always on it. This may be a stereotype for some, but not me. And for all my teachers who wonder why I'm so late to class all the time, this is a prime example why. I've had so many influences on how to live my life, it's hard to count. Whether it be my parents, teachers, or even my dorm parents, there have been so many positive influence on my, influences on my life to strive forward choose the right path. I think we don't recognize that many people don't have the opportunities we have to be at a wonderful school like this and have the mentors we have. I know for me there are many people back home who would kill for this opportunity we have here and knowing that pushes me even harder to achieve my goals. Now I just want to shout out all my friends, all my real dogs who helped me throughout the years. I'll start off with my parents who I know sacrifice every day for me and without them I wouldn't have anything that I have today. And I just want to say I love you guys. I'd like to thank some of my teachers like Mr. Clapper, Dr. Ramirez, and Ms. Pilon for their um, for them mentoring over me and not just pushing me to strive in my schoolwork, but to be a better person. And next I'd like to thank my dorm parents, past and present, Mr. Jeff, Ms. Kathy, and Mr. Martinez for making me feel at home while being here. Also my coaches for coaches for pushing me every day, not only to make me a better player, but a better person. Some others I just like to shout out are all my boys in the Kalnick, my home away from home. All my guys are like brothers to me, and I'll always remember our time together fondly. Same goes for my sons on the baseball team. I also consider you guys my brothers, and wouldn't be where I am today without you guys, so thank you. Lastly, I just gotta shout out my day ones, Ajani and Damal. Ever since those days of Freedom Farm, we've been lifelong friends, and I can honestly consider you guys my immediate family. Anyway, regardless, if you enjoy the little things in life or, um, or not, you still work hard, but always remember, enjoy yourself while doing it.